Yeah, go ahead and sell all that stock. Um, just deposit the 30 million in my account in the Bahamas. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I got I got to do this video. All right, see ya. No money, no problems. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Welcome back, guys, to the Mad Props channel. This is going to be another quick one, but a very important one. I wish I had seen this a long time ago because. I'm guilty of doing this incorrectly, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the correct way to remove a stuck out drive. Now, if you've ever found yourself in a situation where you're trying to remove your out drive and it is not coming off, the absolute last thing you wanna do is get screwdrivers and pry bars and just start going in there and trying to wedge it out because you will damage the mating surface where that gasket goes, where the out drive bolts on to the bell housing. Don't do that. I've done it. We've probably all done it but don't do that. So let's start with removing the out drive normally. So this is something that you should do every season anyway, just to inspect your gimbal bearing, your U-joints, make sure everything's greased properly, you know, the kind of routine maintenance type stuff. So it's really not a hard job to remove the out drive. So here we go. First thing you wanna do is trim up the out drive. If you have an Alpha 1, Gen 1 or 2, or even a Bravo, you wanna trim up the out drive and that gives you easier access to the little speedometer tube connector that's on the front, um, down by the shift um, shift shoe. So you pop that thing up and you can reach up there and pop off the speedometer tube. Because if you don't do that, like somebody I know, you will break that connector and have to buy a new one. Second thing you want to do, and this is extremely important, if you don't do this, you're going to have a bad day. Going to have a bad time. You need to put your shifter in forward gear for Alpha 1 Gen 2s and Gen 1s. Bravos may be neutral. Double check that. But for Alpha 1 Gen 2s, for sure, and Gen 1s, forward gear. If you do not put it in forward gear, it's either not going to come off, or if you do get it off, it's going to damage something. Another thing you need to do before the drive's ready to come off, in normal circumstances, is you would remove the trim rams. Now, if you do that and you find out later that your drive is stuck, you're gonna need to put the trim rams back on and you'll see why in a second. So the next thing you wanna do is, in my case at least, I lower the bow of the boat down at the front on the tongue, just crank down the, the tongue. And what that does is as the tongue comes down, that actually lifts up the back of the boat and gets the drive up higher off the ground. I find it easier to pull the drive off if the drive is able to trim down as low as possible. And in order for my boat to trim down as low as possible, I have to get the bow down to get the transom up. That makes sense. So once that's done, it's time to remove the six nuts that hold on the drive. These are five eighths, five eighths inch nuts and I like to use a long extension just so I can get the handle of the socket back away from it so I can rotate it the whole way without actually hitting the drive. So once we get those six nuts off, this is when normally you would try and remove the drive. In the right circumstances, it should just pop right off. But if you have an older boat that you're restoring or you don't know the condition of, or just it's an older boat that you've had, and you may start to get rot in the transom or the stringers or the engine mounts, things like that. You could have a bad engine mount and that would cause your engine alignment to go out of whack and that's what would cause this out drive to bind up or not come off easily. Gonna have a bad time. So what you wanna do is get a block of wood. In my case, it's about five inches wide. I just started with a chunk of a two by six and just ripped it down on the table saw till it fit just right. And the width of this is going to vary a little bit depending on how low you can trim up or trim down the drive. But what you want to do is place this between the top cap of the out drive. So on the top of the Alpha 1s, there's a little cap there with four bolts holding it down. You want to put that in between where that kind of bends down and then this upper... And then the upper section will go up against the... Um, the u-bolt near the steering pin and you just kind of place it in there and what happens is as you trim the drive up it's kind of rotating up like this and it's going to start to wedge that wood in there and you're actually using the hydraulic force of the trim rams to force the drive off and that's really the only good way to do it 
the only safe way to do it without damaging anything. So just like that, the drive's gonna pop right off. And be ready for it, because sometimes it's gonna pop off pretty quickly and drop, <clears throat> and drop. So this may be a good thing to have a second person. In this video, I'm just using the trim switch that I showed you guys how to install in the last video, which is again, another reason why this thing's awesome to have that switch there. But just be ready for it. And it's nice to have a stand for your outdrive built and kind of ready to go. So as soon as it pops off, you can just place it on there. So after the drive pops off, now you need to remove the trim rams, which you would normally have done ahead of this step, which is just knocking the two pins out and just kind of set them down. I just kind of let them hang off to the side, hanging from the hydraulic hoses. And I make sure I collect all the hardware and kind of keep it together because I've lost that stuff before. So that's it guys, it's that easy. Make sure you use this procedure from now on if you ever have a stuck out drive. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for checking this one out. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, buy me a beer if you see me out. I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you want to do, that's fine. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. See you soon. Going to have a bad time. So where's the part where we have a good time? Hey, little dude, you got some crap right here.